Greetings to everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is about esophageal cancer. Before proceeding towards the content of the video, do like the video, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notifications. Proceeding towards the content of the video, in this video you will learn about what is esophagus, what is esophageal cancer, its early signs and symptoms, causes, risk factors, diagnosis and treatment. So moving towards the first part of the video, esophagus, it's a long hollow tube that runs from your throat to your stomach. Your esophagus helps move the food you swallow from the back of your throat to your stomach to be digested. The cancer of esophagus is called esophageal cancer. It usually begins in the cells that line the inside of the esophagus. Esophageal cancer can occur anywhere along the esophagus. So what are the signs and symptoms of esophageal cancer? These include dysphagia or difficulty in swallowing, weight loss without trying, chest pain, burning, and pressure, worsening indigestion or heartburn, persistent coughing or hoarseness of voice. If anyone is experiencing these symptoms, he must consult a doctor. Before proceeding further, if you are liking the video, do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. Let's come to the content of the video. The next part is the types of esophageal cancer. There are two types of esophageal cancer. The first one is squamous cell carcinoma that is typically found in the upper and middle sections of the esophagus. The most common risk factors for this type of cancer are smoking and alcohol ingestion. The second type is adenocarcinoma that is typically found in the lower section of the esophagus. This type of cancer is often caused by Barrett's esophagus that is a pre-malignant condition that can develop in people with years of uncontrolled reflux disease. Smoking is also a risk factor of adenocarcinoma. Let's move towards the diagnosis of esophageal cancer. How the doctor diagnosed an individual of esophageal cancer? There are many methods of it. A few of them include endoscopy. Barium swallow, chest x-ray, CT scan and PET, bronchoscopy and thoracoscopy. Discussing endoscopy, during endoscopy your doctor passes a flexible tube equipped with a video lens down your throat and into your esophagus. Using the endoscope, your doctor examines your esophagus looking for cancer or areas of irritation. After diagnosis, here comes the treatment of it. The treatment of esophageal cancer includes the first one is surgery. Surgery is divided into three parts. The first is surgery to remove very small tumors. Second one, the surgery to remove a portion of the esophagus that is also known as esophectomy. The third one is surgery to remove a part of your esophagus and the upper portion of your stomach. That is also known as esophagogastrectomy. The second treatment included relieving esophageal obstruction. Those who developed esophageal cancer, their esophagus become narrowed by a tumor. It can be treated by using a stent. A surgeon may use an endoscope and special tools to place a metal tube, also known as stent, to hold the esophagus open. Other treatments of esophagus cancer include chemotherapy, radiation therapy, targeted drug therapy, and immunotherapy. This is all about esophagus cancer, its signs and symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment. If you like the video, do subscribe the channel like, comment and share the video.
Thank you.